holy cow am I late. Uh, I do apologize for the past few days. <coughs> I have been busy as a bee and sick as a dog. Um, but I don't want to push this video out any longer. Uh, we are going to talk about the importance of Ramsa, Terra, and Yuna for the Cosmos era because they just recently got level 70s and reworks. Uh, the other characters amongst the Awakening Batch that came out alongside of them were Seven, Zack, and Ferris. And, I mean, oh, no, 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 that's the wrong one, wrong way. I mean, Zack. I have already did a video on Zack. There's no reason to talk about him again. But pretty much with what he got with his level 70, it just further enhances everything that Zack can do. Uh, I'm now able to get his Apocalypse up to 10k shield thanks to his initial advance. Um, and I know you're thinking, with as big as a Zack fanboy that I am, why is he not level 70? Like I said, I have been super busy. That's going to be finished fairly soon. As for... Uh, so if you want to hear me talk about Zack, uh, head over to that video where I talked about the importance of Zack for the Cosmos era. He was only level 60 at the time, but pretty much the the opinion of him still stays. Everything he got with his level 70 just makes him better and just improves upon what he already has. Uh, Seven and Ferris pretty much got almost identical level 70s. Uh, their level C65 increases damage on debuff targets and things like that. Um, Honestly, without EXs and stuff, uh, while even though they did get attack boosts and everything from the levels and, and whatnot, uh, they're still missing out on damage, um, and so it kind of just eh, makes them a little lackluster to use currently at the moment. Ferris, honestly, I think has a little more utility than Seven, uh, because Ferris is still a good dispeller, so if you need... A good dispeller, uh, I would say, yeah, you know what, you could give Ferris a shot, but I mean, we're going to be getting char other characters in the future that are going to be doing what she can, but better, and they're really only, they're really not that great until they get their EX Plus, um, which will be sometime down the road. They both are getting EX Pluses, which is nice. They got a lot of great upgrades. Seven is a huge monster, and Ferris just improves basically on everything that she does. So, we're going to talk about the three who got reworks, uh, Terra, Yuna, and Roms, and we're going to keep it relatively brief. If you can hear, my throat is still scraping in lots of pain. So, we're going to take it easy today. We're going to make it nice and easy. Yuna did not get a rework. And what I mean by that was she all, all she got were updates to her, uh, her aura passives, and that was it. Uh, I don't consider that a rework. I consider that a touch-up. Um... So, unfortunately, Yuna's still kind of sitting there eating some dust uh, that everyone else is pushing out in front of her. She did get an EX weapon, summon Val for. I forget the name of the weapon itself, but basically it makes her brave attack and her HP attack um, actual attacks uh, with Val for, who continues to come out in the field for a certain amount of time. Um, so, with that said, I'm going to be honest, uh, Yuna's really not that important for the Cosmos era. What she offers to the party is really good support. Um, in the forms of, you know, giving, getting rid of debuffs, so she's a good dispeller herself, um, while, you know, putting on some nice buffs to the party, and keeping everyone's braids nice and full. The problem with Yuna is her EX takes a very long time to recharge. Uh, so, like, if you want to see that often, you'd have to pair her with someone who literally just came out, like Selfie, uh, which I'll be doing another video on fairly soon, just give me a minute. <laughs> Uh, I'll have that video up um, by tonight or tomorrow, I promise. But, um, yeah, you'd have to pair her with someone who just came out like Selfie to raise the EX recast rate. But then, I mean, you're compromising your party to fit to put one character, while Selfie isn't a phenomenal character, to fit Selfie to the party uh, just to make one character better when Selfie is already a really good support and you could fit Selfie alongside someone like Sync. Uh, who's a great DPS unit who could use the EX recast rate because she's a slow charging EX as well. So, I mean, it's like if you're going to put Selfie on the party, why put Yuna, you know? Um, and that's pretty much that. She wastes a lot of turns and she doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, her max brave is not that high. Uh, so, she's wasting a lot of turns using her abilities that don't do any HP damage on top of them in order to continuously recharge her, uh, her EX again instead of actually pushing for damage. So... Yuna, honest to God, is not really that important um, for the Cosmos era. She does get an EX plus in the future, uh, which makes her tons better. Uh, she now starts the the match with Valor 4 already ready. 
uh, with her EX already charged. So once Valve 4 goes away, she can just use it again, which is really nice. Uh, so that helps kick her off real good, and she becomes a lot better in the future. Uh, Terra, I don't mind this. Um, I think Terra is super boring. So I did have her built when her level 60 came out alongside of Alice. Uh, and I was pulling for Alize, and Terra cock blocked me very hard until I actually did get Alize stuff. Um, but I did end up just building Terra. I, I, I didn't get her EX, which was weird. Um, I ended up building up Terra with just a 35, and I used her for the time because she was relatively good, and I needed a DPS at the time. Uh, but yeah, I find her extremely boring, so I needed the power stones, and I sold her 35. Uh, I do plan on pulling for Gao Gao in the future, so I will hope to be able to get her EX at that time. I already have both her 15 and 35 CP passives, so she's going to be on the bench until then if I can pull it then. If I can, then bam, there we go, I'll use her. Uh, so basically, Terra got a new frame buff. Um, her abilities add to that frame buff. It's like a, it's like a unique buff, kind of like Alice's. And um, basically what it does is once it hits five stacks, it turns her abilities into the Magitek versions where they do more damage. They have more overflow because she did get overflow with the rework, 120% on both. Um, I believe Meltdown is now 150 and Meteor Rain and Meteor Chant is now uh, 180, which is really nice. So they do a lot of good damage uh, and she does get a standard HP attack plus. Ugh, uh, that doesn't really do much. Um, and then she gets a, her C level 65 is one that raises her attack and gives her uh, more stacks of this so you can use it a little more often. The problem with Terra is she did not get, she only got one additional usage to her abilities. So her EHP attack plus is really mediocre. I don't, I, I'm telling you guys, I really don't like the whole HP attack plus where that just raises, raises brave and does no HP, uh, HP attacks. Look at Warrior of Light. His HP attack plus plus raises his brave and then does a brave attack on top of it. That's an HP attack. That's an HP attack. Uh, unfortunately, Zack suffers the same thing, but I I overlook it because it's Zack. And there's no difference here. Terra's HP attack is mediocre at best. So it's not doing anything for her longevity. And not only that, she has currently the worst EX in the game right now. Um, it does get tons better when her EX plus comes out. Uh, and she is fairly good as a burst down DPS unit. The problem is that she has absolutely no longevity, so you really need to know how to manage her skills, along with bring her along someone with some good HP, her good bravery gen, or good support to the party, which then you're compromising your party to work around her. Uh, when at the moment we do have a bunch of units that can work. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me that could work well on their own and get the extra boost that they they can need with a other party such as warrior of light or you know right now Ramza, which we'll talk about in a second so it's like um tara is good with her rework it adds a lot of extra damage that you know she she needed she didn't need she was the uh, madoyo queen when her level 60 first came out and I don't think she's gonna gonna hop back into that queen spotlight. But if you need a DPS unit, Terra's your girl. Do I think she's important for Cosmos? Not really, because uh, I mean, like you can get some use out of her for a little while, but she's gonna fall off fairly soon as we get more units that could do what she does, but better and have much better longevity. So, and if she's your girl, she's not my girl personally. But if she's your girl, go ahead, build her up because you'll you'll get some use for her. And that's just that. You'll, you'll get some great use out of her. It's just she's going to fall off fairly soon once we get some units who can do what she can better. And I uh, will save the best for last because Ramza's a fucking beast. Um, nice, and, nice and easy. Nice, short and easy. Um, same thing with Zach, though. He would be level 70 by now if I wasn't so damn busy. Uh, but that's going to be that's gonna change fairly soon. I'm going to get on the grind since I finally have some time to breathe. But anyway... Basically, what Roms got is now his Shout and Galvanize. They are both five turn use, five turn use. So his Galvanize, I believe, got two extra uses, um, and they both add a stack of Shout and Galvanize. Um, depending on how many stacks you have of it, it will change his 
it will give that many pluses to the brave attack and hp attack plus so for example if you have two stacks of each uh the brave attack and hp attack become hp attack plus plus at three stacks it's plus 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 and that is where roms are really shined uh because the buffs last for a while both of them <coughs> last for nine turns each and once it gets to that point, Ramza now does two hits with his Brave Attack Plus and further raises the bra uh, Brave of the party much more than it did before. And his HP Attack Plus 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 uh, will raise his Brave, do a Brave hit, and does not add to the turn count. So it saves you turns by doing a lot of damage and has an overflow of 120, 120 or 150. Either one, uh, but it does overflow as well, which is nice. That's a fucking HP Attack right there, guys. That's an HP Attack. Terra, you need to learn, girl. Uh, but that is an HP attack plus. The only downside with Ramza is you want to make sure you don't lose his buffs. Because by the time that you use his buffs to get him to his plus, plus, plus versions, you have already used three. If you let those buffs go away, you will only have two skill uses remaining for both Shout and Galvanize. You will lose Ramza for the fight. Because while his HP, his plus plus for his brave and HP attack is good, it is not the plus 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 where he's doing what he's supposed to do. You want to make sure you don't lose those. If you lose those, Roms is useless. He is now useless for the rest of the fight, and that could be detrimental when the end of a fight can be the most important to try and blitz them down before they kill you, um, or to reach that turn count. You need to make sure that. You keep those buffs going, uh, and his enervate didn't get a didn't get a touch up. Um, but I mean, enervate was already a pretty good ex anyway. Um, Robinson's max brave is now through the roof, um, and his brave regens to the party is now increased by a lot, uh, considering that his attack stat. Look at that! I only have him c sixty eight right now. His attack stat's sitting pretty at twenty six hundred. Which is really nice. It's really nice. I'm trying to get more artifacts for him. I'm going to change out his armor fairly soon. So that's going to be going up even more. But anyway. Um, Ramza. The important for Ramza is the Cosmos era. Is he's absolutely important. And he is good enough to take you through some of the early Cosmos. Uh, he is one of the later characters to get an EX+. Plus. He actually just got his re EX+. Plus, I think about a week and a half. Two weeks ago. Uh, with Jack. Uh, on... The JP side, who Jack is fucking broken, uh, he got his age, he got his EX plus then, which is really good, really good. So overall, Ramza as a character, like every time that Ramza actually gets stuff, like Ramza was great when he first came out. Uh, his level 60, you know, put him back on the field because it gave him his EX and everything. <coughs> he was one of the best supports of his of his time at that time. Fell off relatively, relatively soon because he was a little slow. But um, oh, and a shout does HP attack now which is really nice uh so he's not wasting as many turns um and every time he comes back he came back again with his level 70 and he's now going to be probably one of the best supports until um you know chaos hits he's gonna fall off again and then he'll come back and be one of the best supports again so important super important and he's great enough for early game cosmos so that's gonna do it for this video guys um i know i said to keep it brief but it's going on about 13 and a half minutes <laughs> I don't know how to keep it brief, I'm sorry. But thanks for watching. Selfie will be very soon, uh, either by tonight or tomorrow. And I'm going to be trying to put out some like Cosmos runs and stuff because I miss Saints and everything. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you, see you next time.